Don't you hate it when you have those moments when you have a brilliant idea or realization and you really want to remember it and you think to yourself, I should really write that down. But inevitably, you don't have a pen within reach or you can't be bothered to take your phone out of your pocket and type out a note. And so the idea is just gone forever. Well, this device solves that problem and integrates AI so you don't even have to summarize your own thoughts. So in today's video, I'm going to review the Plaud Note, an AI powered voice recorder. I'm going to show you how I've integrated it into my workflow to capture all of my thoughts on the go and more. It's just such an interesting product to me that I really wanted to share it with you guys, especially as fellow content creators, because I think it's tools like this that can really help speed up and make your workflow just that much more efficient. So I'm going to walk through the features of the Plaud Note, and I'm going to talk about how I integrate it into my workflow as a content creator, then I'll share some of the limitations with this device that you should be aware of, and then I'll give you my final thoughts at the very end of the video. All right, so let's start off by talking about the features of the Plaud Note. Now, I was sent the Plaud note, but I'm not being paid to review it and I'm not being told what to say. So this is my honest thoughts, but it's a slim recording device about the size of a thick credit card. And you can attach it to the back of your phone with the included MagSafe case. And the battery will last about 60 days, which I think is actually quite impressive. And it can continuously record for about 30 hours on a single charge. It has 64 gigabytes of internal storage, which lets you record about 480 hours of content, which is huge in my opinion. Now, on the Plaud Note, it has a record button, which you just press and hold to start a recording. And then you just press and hold it again to stop the recording. It also has a small switch, which switches between a regular recording mode and then a phone call recording mode, which I think is actually pretty cool because it means you don't need your phone on speaker. You just put the Plaud Note into phone record mode, take your call and hit record and it'll record both sides of the conversation pretty clearly. Then all you need to do is you open the Plaud Note app transfer the file across and then start an AI transcription, which in my experience is super accurate. And you can also get a ChatGPT generated summary, which I think is pretty cool, as well as a mind map of the transcription. Now, before I show you exactly how I use Plaud Note in my workflow and some of the limitations of it, I just want to talk about something that will remove the limitations in your very own brain, which is magic mind. Something I really struggle with as a full-time creator is the mid-afternoon crash that I almost always get about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. I start to feel sleepy my brain slows down and I lose focus. And this is where Magic Mind has really impressed me. It's a little green shot that I take in the morning with my coffee, which contains nootropics designed to improve brain function, like L-theanine from matcha, which increases focus and attention, and ashwagandha, which helps to reduce stress. And I found that after using it for a week, my afternoon slump is completely gone and I'm able to focus the entire day. I've even had a couple of days where I've been able to focus up until about 10 p.m. that night, which is really rare for me and as a game changer for someone who's self-employed as I'm able to get more done in the same amount of time. I'm finding a single shot to be far more effective and long lasting when compared to coffee without any caffeine jitters or any negative effects on my sleep. There's also a 60 day money back guarantee, which I really like, which means you can try Magic Mind risk-free. And if I'm totally honest with you, I was a little bit skeptical about this before I tried it, but I've been so impressed. I'm now genuinely a believer. So if you're interested in trying Magic Mind, there's a link in the description and you can use the code Nick Kendall to get $40 off your first order. All right, so let's talk about how I use the Plaud Note in my daily workflow. And basically for me, it's as simple as it sounds. Just as I'm going about my day, if there's something I want to remember, or if I have some idea or realization, I just pick up my phone, hit the record button and speak the thought directly into the recorder. And for me, it's been so useful so far. I've been using it multiple times a day for a pretty big variety of different types of things. I've used it for content ideas for my channel. I've used it to record sections of audiobooks that I've been listening to to, which is amazing because I've been looking for an effective way to take notes from audiobooks for a long time now. And I've also been using it a lot just for personal realizations that I've been having. Now for me, I don't use it for phone calls as much because I don't generally communicate when it comes to YouTube over the phone, but I have still recorded the odd phone call that I've wanted to remember. And the transcription has been pretty decent. After I've recorded my note, either right then or at the end of the day, I'll open the Plaud note transfer the file, which you can either do via Bluetooth or if it's a really big file, you can connect to the Plaud Note with Wi-Fi and download it a lot faster that way. And then I'll get my transcripts, my summary and my mind map. And let me tell you, one of the things I've been most impressed with is the accuracy of the transcription on the Plaud Note. Whether I've been speaking into it with my voice, recording audiobooks or phone calls, it's just amazingly accurate. You have less of a need for these quick dopamine fixes, yeah. right? Yes, exactly. I mean, think about it. I mean, yeah. how could you want 
if you're whole. And I assume it's because it's using an AI transcription service, which is more accurate than standard transcriptions, especially when you compare it to things like Siri, for example. And then from there, once I've got my summary, I'll send that to my second brain apps like Obsidian or Notion. And I've just found it to be genuinely a huge help just as I'm going through my day and there's things that I want to remember. I find that I don't tend to get big ideas or realizations when I'm sitting at my computer focusing on work, which is where I could take notes. And so being able to carry something in my pocket that's just really easy to take out and take a quick note, I've been finding really helpful. Now there are some limitations and bottlenecks that I've found when it comes to plot note, which you should be aware of. So the first thing is just that I find the summaries to be a little bit limited and short, especially for longer recordings and transcripts. So for example, I've recorded hour long discussions and it's given me a transcript summary that's just as long as a five minute voice note. To me, a longer note should get a longer summary and should be more detailed. So I'm finding so far the kind of sweet spot for transcription length is at the five to 10 minute mark. Anything longer than this, the summary just really doesn't capture enough of the information that was discussed. But my own workaround for this has basically just been to export the transcript and then copy and paste it into ChatGPT myself. And I've been using my own summary template prompt, which has actually been giving me really good summaries with all the details that I need. And if you're interested in grabbing that prompt to use for your own transcriptions, then I've got a link in the description with a free PDF where I share the exact prompt that I use. So I think looking forward, I just really hope that Port AI gives us more options with summaries, even being able to customize summaries and enter your own prompts for what you would like Plaud Note to summarize from your transcripts would be amazing. I can't imagine that that would be too hard to add as a feature in the future, but as it is now, the summaries are just a bit limited. The next limitation is just that you can't currently access your recordings or transcriptions from a desktop. Now, I know Plaud Note does have this feature planned, but they've told me that it's not coming too soon, but that would really help with that sort of bottleneck in terms of getting the transcription and the summary from the app into other second brain apps, for example, which leads me to the last limitation, which is just the fact that it's not that well integrated with other apps just yet. Some sort of seamless integration with an app like Notion or Obsidian would be amazing. Currently have to manually export all of your transcriptions and summaries, which obviously is possible and it's not too big of a deal, but it just would make it so much easier and more streamlined if you can connect those apps or integrate them somehow into the Plaud Note app. Now, at the end of the day, I think the idea of having AI transcribed voice notes with summaries is just a great idea. It's really useful and really convenient. I can see it really taking off in the future. And that is kind of the key takeaway from me. I personally am gonna continue using the Plaud Note for now for notes, thoughts, audiobook notes, audiobook highlights, and phone calls, despite the limitations of the Plaud Note. And I think the main objection that I can kind of hear people saying about the Plaud Note is why not just use the voice recorder on your iPhone or your Android that's already built into your phone. And I think there's a few reasons why using a dedicated device is actually better. The first is that it's external storage, so it's not taking up more space in your phone, which is nice. The second, obviously, is the fact that it can record phone calls. You can't really do that easily natively on an iPhone or an Android. And the other thing is just the convenience factor is also up there. You don't even have to open your phone. You just literally press a button and it records instantly. And then lastly, in my personal opinion, I actually kind of like having it attached to my phone because feeling it there is a constant reminder that I've got the ability to take notes. Whereas I think if it was an app on my phone, I'd probably forget about it and not bother taking notes as consistently as I might with an external device. So I'm personally really enjoying using the Plaud Note. Definitely recommend checking it out if it's something that you think would be useful useful for your workflow. Don't forget to check out Magic Mind. It's actually pretty incredible and worth checking out with the 60 day money back guarantee. The link is in the description if you wanna check that out. And if you're looking for more ChatGPT prompts specifically to help you with content creation, then check out this video here where I share a whole bunch of different prompts that I use on a regular basis to help you make better content more efficiently.